Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. I was recently asked by a viewer to my previous video on using dollar signs in formulas, uh, what would happen, or why did I use two dollar signs in the formula here, dollar G, dollar three, which is the cell that contains the commission rate. Well, had I not used dollar signs and dragged down, as you would see in my uh, previous video, then I would have got the right answer here with just, just G3, but as I dragged down, I would not have seen uh, any result in the cells. Because the dollar signs, when used in cell references and formulas, lock the reference to that particular cell in the formula. So as I can see here, uh, that becomes B5 multiplied by dollar G dollar 3 is always referring to that particular cell. But the question asked was, why did I use two dollar signs? Well, I could have used just one if I had wanted. So let's look at this example down here. I see the correct answers have been shown to me. Um, the commission rate is now in G14. So my formula here is B15, that number there, that cell there, multiplied by G$14. So as I auto-filled down, it certainly stayed within the same cell in the column. It always remained in column G, because I'm not dragging across that way through columns, but it always referred to the cell in row 14. So I could use G$14. And there we go, just to prove the point, if you watch the um, formula up here, as I've dragged through the rows, it always refers to that particular row there with the dollar sign. But down here, what I've done, I've typed in $G24. Now, as I dragged down, it went to B26, no problem there but it went to uh, column G, it was locked to column G with the dollar sign, but as I dragged down, it, it also increased the row reference by one, because Excel, when I drag down through cells to copy formulas, Excel actually, actually copies the shape of the formula. So what I need to do up here is to change that to G $25, G $25 and if I uh, my apologies uh, G dollar 25 in there dollar uh, 24 sorry G dollar 24 there we go got the right answer but now as I copy that particular where's my mouse gone here it is as I now copy that formula down there I see that the answers are correct because I have locked the row reference to row 24. So hopefully that explains uh, it to you. Uh, remember also that I see dollar signs when I'm referring to a cell in another file um, in uh, Excel. Uh, it, Excel automatically puts the uh, dollar signs in front of the cell reference where, there's, where the cell is in another file. So. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we also love likes and comments if you care to make any. And um, let me know uh, with a message if you require further explanation. Thank you again for watching.